never know what can happen until we play the games. Could MP drop 50 tonight? Will we see overtime, a triple-double, a game-winning shot? We have no idea. This is why we play and watch the games. Like all great scoring centers, Aiton absorbs the defender and completes it. One of the latest trends in the NBA, load management. Charting out just That's what games you'll play ball. over the grueling season. Well, resting healthy players was really first done by the Spurs last decade. And it's become a very popular thing to do. But I think it works better when you win a ton of games and don't really have to worry too much about making the postseason. It also puts a spotlight on young legs. Guys like MP who can play every game. They are so important because you can count on that production. Really, health is a skill. Players who stay available have massive value to NBA teams. Now here's Levine. Here's my player. And that comes off the assist by Zach Levine. Ooh, that's a great find from Levine. Now, he plays mostly the two, but he came into the league as a point. Here's Bridges. Pass to Booker. Sinks that one from the post. Looking good so far. Made all four of their shots to get it going. Here's my player. Tight defense on him. A quick shot there, and it's off target. On the wing, Devin Booker. Defended by Levine. Back to Booker. Pass to Payne. From the corner. And there are the Suns with another bucket. Pretty impressive. Five straight picks to start this game. Outside, Edwards. Outside the arc. Aiton with the board. The Suns leading. Well, guys, imagine that you're a point guard and you're playing with Nikola Vucevic. How would that be? Well, Vucevic is versatile, Blake, and he gives you a lot of different looks offensively. He can operate from the three-point line, the mid-range area, or down low. So as a point guard, I'm keeping my eyes on him. 100%, Brian, if you're running the offense, you want guys around you that can score in different ways. You know, his skill set helps you stay unpredictable, and as a point guard, that's key. Now here is Booker. A tremendous first quarter shooting the basketball. Yeah, just uh, some really impressive scoring. Everything seems to be going in. Here's Edwards. He has six. And that comes off the assist by Zach Levine. I like the way he's taking advantage of what the defense is giving him. He's been a key contributor for them this quarter. Here's Payne. Pass to Crowder for Green. A shot by Crowder, no good. Didn't come away with points, but they'd be happy if every possession ended with that shot. Three-pointer, Zach Levine. Knocks down the three ball. Cashing in from Freeland, Levine has great lift on his shot. Almost levitates over the floor. Her outside. Hey, count that bucket. Two minutes. Cameron Payne. And here is my player. He's got eight. On the wing, Levine. Edwards to the paint. And they double up my player. And again, in Chicago from deep. A quick banker who doesn't need much space to get shots off. Levine always has to be accounted for. Well, let's imagine you're a point guard and you're going to gear up to play alongside DeMar DeRozan. What skill set would you like to have? Well, despite DeRozan's improved passing game, he's still primarily a scorer. So I wouldn't expect him to dabble too much into what a point guard does. But I know he would expect a lot of leadership and basketball IQ from you. Plus, DeRozan's a guy who plays aggressive. And he's no stranger to attacking the rim. That style of play can really put pressure on a defense and allow a point guard to operate more loosely. Now here's my player.
It's NBA 2K21. And tonight we have a chance to see a My Player Build breakdown. A chance to see the skills. In this game, we'll see the Phoenix Suns against the Chicago Bulls. Here we go, basketball fans. Joined by Brian Vanifatemi and Tim Swartz. Devin this Booker. is Blake Suniga welcoming you in. All eyes on my player tonight. I'll definitely be tracking him, Blake. I'm excited to see where his game is. Each contest is a different environment, and each game presents new challenges. How you deal with those questions says a lot about your future. Finally, we agree, Brian. But quite frankly, for anyone in the NBA, that is the challenge. Every game is different between team styles and the players you'll face. So how can you adjust? If things aren't going perfectly, how do you deal with failure? It's the best league in the world. Nothing comes easy. Well, guys, we are in the era of player empowerment. And how, how do you think that has affected the league? Well, Blake, I think the most important part of player empowerment is player movement. Stars having the ability to not only leave a team if they're unhappy, but also choosing where they want to go. We've seen elite NBA players traded, signed with new teams all the time. I think it's a great thing. And honestly, guys, I don't think we'll see a dominant run like the, the Warriors just went on for a while. Players want to play in new markets with different stars, different friends. And that makes it very difficult to keep a roster and stay on top. Here's Payne. The tray. Levine with the rebound. That's a surprising miss. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. DeRozan. Pass to my player. For three. Another miss by my player. His touch has deserted him this quarter, guys, and I don't know if it's ever coming back. Aiton with the ball. everyone welcome to nba 2k21 we've got a chance to check out a my player build and see what he's got moments away it'll be the phoenix suns going up against the chicago bulls from the arena to your living room i'm blake suniga along with brian benefitini and tim swartz here for some exciting 2k basketball action and all our focus tonight is on my player all fans here really want to see him play, see what he has in store. Heck, I want to see what he has in store. And that's the best thing about NBA basketball. 
you just never know what can happen until we play the games. Could MP drop 50 tonight? Will we see overtime, a triple-double, a game-winning shot? We have no idea. This is why we play and watch the games. And it seems like overnight with a move or two, you know, teams can go from rebuilding to contenders for the NBA title. It's just crazy. But we saw that with Brooklyn adding KD and Kyrie, the Clips bringing in Paul George and Kawhi to Los Angeles. If you can save some cap space, build a pile of assets, you can change the fortunes of an organization really quick. Well, if you're a guy like MP, you never know what your next year will look like. Remember on the other side of the spectrum, OKC traded Paul George and Russell Westbrook. All of a sudden, the Thunder are rebuilding. So you have to be ready as a young player for your situation to change at Jim any Howard. time. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's just a nice start. Here's the Bulls with the ball. It's a three-point game. My player from deep. Another miss by my player. Booker outside. And we're about two minutes into the first quarter. Pass to Ayton. Back to Booker. To the middle. Tries yet again. And Vucevic with the block. You might expect a swat like that from a seven-footer like Vucevic, but I'm still going to applaud his timing on that. Another miss by...